Queen Skelly here and welcome to another reacting video! This one's for our prideful day at Disney. I totally remember when we did this day. It was so much fun. It was gay day all the way and I loved it. If you guys don't know how my reacting videos work, um, I watch her video, pause it when I have something to say, and then at the end we give it an overall rating. I was driving, she wasn't. 345 here, I am on my way to Disneyland today with Skelly! Hi, I can't look at the road, I'm driving. No, you have to look at the road you're driving. I meant to say I couldn't look at the camera. Wait, that. <laughs> it's early in the morning, don't expect me to function. It's like 7.15 a.m. So, at the time, I couldn't, I don't really care about that because I would get up early anyways, and I'm usually a morning person, but because of this stupid ass quarantine, I've been like going to bed at midnight, getting up at 10 a.m., and I just, uh, I want to get used to waking up early again, being an early bird, and quit giving me that look. So we're actually having a gay day today. We gay day. Which we've been wanting to do since we, there she is, since we've been, uh, we've been wanting to do this since we first saw the pride ears. So there were two versions of them. There were, there, well, there's a few. There's like a hat that's red and it's got the heart and there's rainbows in it, but we got the black ones with the rainbow bow. So, quick story. Uh, I found out. Oh, oh, to be fair, um, I made a video myself in the car and I came out. I guess in that video, like I was telling people how I was bisexual, so I asked her if she wanted to do the same, but she didn't have to, she didn't want to, because I know it's it's a big thing to come out, it's it's scary. So I asked her, if you're comfortable, you can do it, if not, I'm not going to pressure you to. But she said, no, I'll do it. And I said, okay, but again, if, if you don't want to, if you don't want to upload it, don't do it, because I don't want you to do something you're uncomfortable with. But she did it, and I was actually pretty proud of her, you know, it's... It was fairly new to her at the time, so I, I couldn't have been more proud of my girl. Almost two years ago, I discovered that I, uh, I also like the females. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It was my fault that she found out she liked girls. That one actually, uh, that was her. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, oh, I have a boyfriend, so I can't exactly date and do, do anything. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> no, I can't do a damn thing about it. You can look, okay, like, like we always say, we can only run to the end of our chain and bark. But, um, so we've, we've always talked about having, like, having, like, a gay day, you know, just to, just be our gay selves. That's Because being our gay selves is fun. Fine. <laughs> we were, uh, so when we were, it was one day after work, uh, a few days ago, she was like, so are we just supporting gay or are we actually going gay? And I'm like, honey, when I say gay day, I mean gay day. Which meant we were holding hands, kissing cheeks, possibly doing some pecking. It was a full gay day. <laughs> that means I can hold her, I can kiss her, I can... What I'm saying. Do whatever the hell I want to her. Yeah, I pretty much given her the green light. And we, I got the green light. Hubby's giving me a really awkward face right now. You knew about this day. For my boyfriend, because I wanted to make sure that, like, he wasn't going to be pissed about anything. And he goes, hun, it's fine. <laughs> if you're going to be gay, you have to do full gay. And I was like, this is why I love you. <laughs> my boyfriend, Hubby, was very supportive of this day. And I, I still thank him a lot for that. So thank you, sweetie. So we're just going to have a full on day today. We're going to start with getting those pride Mickey ears and I'm going. Oh, yeah, we hadn't actually gotten them yet. That was like goal number one, but we had like pride shirts on. I'm going to treat her to breakfast and I'm treating this one to lunch. So it's just, it's just going to be a day of just a day of gay, a day of gay. <laughs> oh my God, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a blast. So I'll. I think I want to start, okay, Harley, I know you're watching this. I want to make this a tradition starting next year since every year at Disney we celebrate with a gay day during Pride Month. Please, 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 can we make that a tradition? Please. I will take pictures, little video clips, and 
we'll just see where they go. The day goes from there. Bye. Oh, Jess, she got her waffles. It's funny. She orders, uh, like it comes with two sides, bacon and sausage, and she always just gives me the bacon. Well, she doesn't like bacon. But then again, I'm not a big fan of sausages. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Jungle Cruise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most feared animal in Africa. This is the, oh, was it, um, African elephant? This is the, no, it's the second most feared animal in Africa, the African elephant. On his right hand side, you'll see the most feared animal, his mother in law. I want to work on that road so bad. <laughs> Clearly, I need help with the script. <laughs> he looks dead. Tired. Dead tired. Wink. Well, guys, would you look at that? So many rocks on that beach. I've been on that ride too much. Hey, and there's no such thing as going on the- what is that? Did you try to take a picture of the piranhas? Because that's just a red pole. I think we were doing our loop. And this was before- And this was before it got super busy with Galaxy's Edge. Okay. Everything was pretty much a walk-on, and I miss those days. Oh, fun fact, after this room is the, it's like a spike room where like spikes come down. I always have to cover my ears because the loud noise makes me like jolt. Yeah, we can always do that. I got a picture of one back there. There was a couple that I saw that. Yeah, I could. It's this room. And that is exactly why Mandy covers her ears in this room. Oh, yeah, go for it. I think we cut off a family. Oops. Harley Baby hates Indiana Jones. We're trying to get her used to it. I was so proud of her when she went on. I think this was her first time ever going on the ride. And I'm frightened. Now I'm okay for right now. I don't have a free hand anyway. I told her if she needed to hold my hand, she could. That just kind of startled me a bit. of this invention. I, I know this whole thing by heart. See the excellence of this invention. Your off-road journey is fast and turbulent, going over rough and rugged terrain, and then suddenly you are turning sharply and dropping suddenly. It is unlike anything you have ever experienced, I assure you. Now, my friend, one final word of advice. Once you've entered the chamber of destiny, look not into the eyes of the idols. That will be dangerous. Very dangerous. Grandma, you've lost some weight there. Well, my friends, your moment is drawing near. Already I am envious of the wonders of nature. I'm envious of you because I miss this ride and I wish I could go through the screen and ride it. If you avoid the eyes of Bobby, I I kid you not, the last time I went to Disney was in early March. The last time she went to Disney was my birthday in February. Yeah,
I'm sorry if I'm so quiet. I just really miss going to Disney, and this is kind of like this is kind of like if I were there type deal. I just want to enjoy it. Archaeologist Indiana Jones. They throw rumors that it rewards visitors with unlimited riches, eternal youth, or visions of the future. There's just one little hint: the ancient temple idol. If you so much as peek into its eyes, the next stop on your itinerary will be the gates of doom. This jubilant junior visited the chamber of earthly riches. Looks like his allowance has gone up. Solomon recently visited the observatory of the future. Maybe he can tell us who will win the World Series. Keep your eye on the globe. Well, with my eye on the globe right now, we ain't doing so hot. Oh, the meek. Oh, this guy, I think, was doing Dory. Yeah, he was doing Dory, but we left before he could finish it. So I survived Indiana Jones. Still scary as hell for me, but I'm glad I did it, and I'm glad. You did so good, I was so proud of you. I thought I had Skelly with me. I was there, she was there to hold my hand. It, it's gonna take a lot to get me used to it, but you know what, with her, anything is possible and I know that I'm gonna love the ride of it. So we have a small story from Indiana Jones that I'm actually gonna put into a talking skeletons, or a chatting skeletons episode, because as I'm trying to get her used to this, something happened that made even me terrified of the ride but again I'll, I'll put that in the chatting skeletons episode and i'll explain it a little bit better and chilly but i'm glad I, i'm glad i did it and i'm glad that i survived barely but i survived and i'm very proud of myself and i know she's proud you're breathing aren't you proud of me also to be fair i think i was going to the restroom at that point <laughs> I miss Disney. The withdrawals are strong, man. They are strong. So we're walking on the Splash Mountain. There is no line. <laughs> like I said, the days when you could just walk on to rides. Yes, it is cold outside, and yes, I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm doing it for this one. Uh, <laughs> This is literally my favorite ride in the park. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get some. I'm pretty sure that we went in rows one and two, if memory serves me right. Then yeah, again, the days when Disney had no lines whatsoever. None. Then Star Wars happened. Oh yeah, we ate at the Red Rose Tavern. She had that cauliflower burger, which is actually really good, and I think I had the poutine. But yeah, um, if you notice these pictures that she's taking, um, in the Red Rose Tavern, they have, um, if you remember the live action Beauty and the Beast came out a long, long time ago, and they put the characters in the tavern, and in order to signify them, they put them in front of a uh, framed picture. And she found all three, which was fantastic. The first one was Mrs. Potts and Chip. Second one was Cogsworth. This one is Lumiere. Did we go on Casey Jr.? I don't remember. I know we tortured her hubby with it. I think we went on Dumbo. Pretty, yeah, we went on the carousel that day. I remember that for sure, because I have the most adorable picture of her on the carousel. Mr. Toad, yep, yep. Pinocchio. We got a lot done that day. Like, we were surprised how much we got done that day. We're hoping that within the next year, everything will die down, but we'll see what happens. Oh, so that apple. I love touching that apple. If you touch that apple, um, the evil queen does, like, a cackle. It's so cool. Autopia, Autopia. Back over, we literally did everything. Holy crap, did we head into DCA? In a luxurious space liner in its class. While other space lines have to be like a herd of tauntauns, start. 
I literally think that's a pot shot at Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. Doors offers you the widest seats and the most leg room of any carrier. Every star speaker is equipped with the most reliable pilots. No, it ain't. <laughs> Never has been. Advanced astromechs and the latest IC360 camera droids. With more flights to more destinations, why not take your tours with Star Tours? <laughs> Convenient daily departures. Star Tours is not responsible for lost or destroyed luggage, missing flights, disruptions, and service caused by imperial entanglements, meteor showers, asteroid gods, or black holes. These pilot toys may vary. Hyper space travel and camp toys not available on all flights. Routes are subject to change without notice. My god, that disclaimer just reminds me of all those damn commercials. Have a nice flight. Like the, the medicine commercials. Like, hey, this could benefit you, but here's like a 15 second disclaimer on what the side effects are. Small world. Oh, please tell me when we went on Roger Rabbit. Oh, we went on Alice. Did we do the teacups? I think we did the teacups. We did do the teacups. I so smart. We did do Roger Rabbit. God damn, we did a lot. Did we do Gadget Go Coaster? Oh my god, please tell me we did Gadget Go Coaster. I don't even, like, I remember that we did this day. I just don't remember how many rides we hit. But it looked like we hit pretty much all of them. I think that, yeah, we did go on Gadget's Go Coaster. We went on Space Mountain. I think we had a fast pass for Space Mountain. Oh my god. I really hope we can have more days like this where it's pretty much just a freaking walk on. So, I'm definitely going to give that video a 10 out of 10 because it made me miss Disneyland. It made me miss going to Disneyland. And it made me miss going to Disneyland with her and hubby. And I, I just miss going outside. <laughs> I really hope this whole thing is over soon because I know we're going to be, like, super busy at Disney. Like, I don't think there's going to be a slow day until the school year starts. And even then, I know it's probably still going to be packed. So, I'll let you guys know later this summer if I'm still alive if we open the park back up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.